morning everybody and welcome back to my channel abiding farmhouse i'm so glad you're here today's video is a fun one i've been looking forward to it is it is a collab started by fallon over at moss family tv she has started this uh fall food friday she actually started it about two years ago but this is the first one that i'm joining in i'm super excited to join her along with a lot of other ladies that are going to be sharing their recipes so make sure you check out that playlist down below so that you can get lots of good ideas uh, this fall season. You could share a breakfast recipe, dessert, lunch, dinner, whatever you wanted to. I decided to share one of our family's favorite dinners in the fall. That is taco soup. It's a super easy crock pot meal that um, can stay on there all day long. You could probably also do an instant pot if you want to, if you wanted to make it quicker. I'm gonna be doing it in the crock pot. So I'm gonna show you all the ingredients that go in there, how long to cook it for, and then show you how it turns out at the end. It is so good. It is seriously one of my family's favorites. And we like it because you can eat it with anything. You can do cornbread. You could do saltine crackers if you wanted to. Uh, we personally like to do tortilla chips with ours. Our kids love to put tortilla chips on top of their taco soup. I like sour cream on mine. So you could put whatever toppings you wanted on it. And it's such a good fill you up kind of cozy fall um, dinner. First, a little bit about me. I'm Shasta, I'm a homeschooling mom to eight kiddos. My husband and I have been married for 14 years. And here on this channel, I like to share our passion for Christ, family vlogs, all things homeschooling, things like that. So if any of that kind of thing interests you, make sure you please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. I would love to have you part of our YouTube family and to follow along here with us. I also have an Instagram. If you wanna follow me along there, I share my stories and different things. If you're new, I thank you so much for stopping by my channel and I'm excited to show you this fall recipe. So let's get started. Okay, so I, I do make a big portion of this recipe because we are a large family. We're a family of 10. But not only that, my family loves it so much, I just make a lot of it. So while most people may only need one pack of chicken for this recipe, I'm going to be doing two packs. I'm just going to trim some of this fat off before I put it into the crock pot. Um, so I'm going to do that first. And then I've got all of my ingredients here as well as some leftover onion that I'm going to chop up and put in there. All right, so I've got all of my chicken in there and I trimmed the fat off of it the best that I could. And like I said, we do a lot of chicken because we are a large family. You can cut down on the chicken or you could also use ground beef if you do not want to use chicken. We personally like chicken better. So um, I've already got all my stuff open here, but I just put one can of Rotel in there. one can of diced tomatoes a can of black beans um you do have to drain the black beans this is the only thing that i do drain though and also we only use black beans in ours but you can put like chili beans kidney beans whatever other beans you want to add to this i use two cans of corn it only calls for one but i use two because we do like corn in ours also, um, you don't have to drain the corn as well. Go in with two of those. Okay, and I noticed when I was showing you the canned foods earlier of the recipe, I had tomato paste on there. And then I finally realized that I did not need tomato paste, it's tomato sauce. So make sure you use tomato sauce instead of tomato paste. I just had pulled the wrong thing out of my cabinet. So I'm gonna do a whole can of that. And that is um, only eight ounces of that. Next thing is your taco seasoning. You can use whatever taco seasoning you want. You can do spicy or mild, whatever. We just do the original. Not too spicy because we have little kids that eat it. Next, here's some onion that I chopped up. Just a little bit of onion that will go in there is some water. And you can just kind of eyeball this um, until you see how much you want in there. It calls for two cups. I didn't quite need two cups. And then once everything is in there, just take a spoon and kind of mix it all together where it'll cook nice and even. You don't have to worry about the chicken at the bottom, it's fine, but just mix all of those soups and tomatoes, onions, the taco seasoning, mix all of that in pretty well. You could also do this on high for four to six hours or just put it on low for about eight hours. It's still morning here, so I'm just gonna do it on low for eight hours. I'm just gonna let it cook slow all day. And then put your lid on top. You can tell my crock pot is well loved and worn out. The buttons are gone, but thankfully I remember where high, low, and warm is, so that's high, but I want it on low. So I'm just gonna let it sit there and cook on low for about eight hours. Um, and then I'm gonna take the chicken out and I'm gonna shred it and then put it back in there and stir it all around. 
I'm gonna take you through that though. Once it's time to take it out, I'll show you the shredded chicken and then put it back in there. And then I'll show it to you when it's all finished. So I also went ahead and made a pumpkin pie for dessert after our taco soup. Just go ahead and go all out for fall, right? <laughs> so this is on the cool rack cooling right now and then we'll have that for dinner tonight after our taco soup all right so it's time for me to shred the chicken so what I do is I and I take the chicken out and put it into this bowl and then I hook it up to my KitchenAid and that's how I shred my chicken usually you can do it with two forks or however you would like it's just easier for me to put it in here and shred it that way so that's what I'm gonna do now <laughs> Actually, not what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take the same tongs that I had to get it out with and put it back in there. That way, I don't just dump it in there and it get everywhere. So I'm just gonna put that back in. All right. Once all the chicken is in there, you just want to go ahead and stir it around again. And I usually just let it um, sit here and cook ever how much longer I have left because um, it's pretty much done. I mean, you can let it cook a little bit longer. I'm going to let it sit here until we're ready for dinner. It's only about 15 to 5, so we're not going to have dinner for probably another hour. So I'm just going to let it all sit in there together. Give me a comment and let me know what your favorite fall recipe is. Everybody has something different. Um, go see, I have been cooking this taco soup for about three or four years now, every fall and winter. You can count on me cooking it and it's a good one. All right, y'all. So here it is. It's done. It was such an easy recipe and I just like a little bit of shredded cheese and sour cream on my bowl. And then I'll eat it with a few tortilla chips. It's such a good, satisfying fall recipe. I've got some of our stuff sitting out there on the counter so that we can put our little toppings on. Such an easy, easy recipe. Um, we love to make this every year when it starts getting cool outside. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you check out that playlist down below to get more recipe ideas. I hope you'll hit that subscribe button for more of my videos. And I thank you so much for watching today and we'll talk to y'all later. Bye.